What's up, everyone? Welcome to the channel. So it has been a week plus, I think, since I last played. Um, so we're going to go in with a normal video, my normal style, just to get comfortable again. Because um, I've been traveling, and I'm looking forward to playing again. We had the GPUs running while we were gone, so we are at 3.2 million. And it's a nice Saturday here, so I'm hoping to get in and find some, a lot of PvP. But yeah, I'll see you in there. Alright, here we go. So, yeah, I haven't played in a while, so hopefully this doesn't go too bad, I'm too rusty. I'm, like, weirdly nervous filming this, <laughs> like, more than I normally am, so hopefully it goes alright. Let's see if we can get an easy kill right here. Ah, uh, looks like we're alone. Alright, and we got a bot in the docks. I'm gonna take a quick peek. See if we get anyone, like, running. I don't think we'd really probably be able to get a kill from here anyway, it's really far. But it's good to know if there are people that spawned Lighthouse. I don't see anyone. But I've been getting a lot more spawns that spawn here and I spawn there. So we start like 10 feet apart and uh... I, you know, obviously I gotta take that kill. But it doesn't feel good. I don't enjoy that spawn. Okay. So we got someone at Radia. I'm gonna wait for this guard to stop moving so much. And let's go. I'm hoping we're the first people into research. Um, but I doubt we are, since we kind of took a small detour there to check out the um, the other spawns. Most likely another person that is in research spawned by like the back of research in Garage. So we're not going to run into them just yet. But probably when we get to the conference room we'll see them. If they're actually here. <laughs> we could be all alone. Alright, we hear some footsteps, but that's just a bot. No purple. Um, there's a purple that spawns on that desk, so that's why I always run up that. That's why I always check that desk by running up the uh, door there. Oh, we're on single fire. <laughs> uh, but alright. Good first start. <laughs> Let's get kitted up again and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Round two. Let's hopefully last a little bit longer in this raid <laughs> than the first one. Um, he was using an AK. I forgot to tell it. Um, call it out, whatever. So we did trade in that last raid and he was using an AKM with AP ammo, which... I've never seen someone run an AKM with AP ammo in general. It's just like, it seems if you have AP, you probably have nicer guns, but maybe he's doing some fun little challenge. That was interesting. That shot that we just heard sounded like it was coming from Gore Pit, which isn't like surprising, but you don't normally shoot anything when you're at Gore Pit. But it also was just one shot and they probably just made a mistake shooting it. I'm probably just reading way too much into it. Alright, let's see if we get someone peeking this hill at us. Right now. Okay. Oh, they're over there. Alright, we didn't get that guy. And he's got a buddy as well. So I just saw his buddy leave. Uh... They're, they're at least a duo. One's in the tower, and the other guy went out the wall by the tower. So let's see if we can pull this off. But it means they probably won't be surprising us on this hill. They're also probably not super kitted. It sounds like an SKS. Okay. <laughs> like, a lot of them. Who's on the hill there? All right, those were some clean shots, man. <laughs> uh, those were nice. I'm proud of that. All right, let's get back into Wardens then. I wonder if they got a kill. That was a lot of shots. I'm wondering if they were shooting someone coming in from Beach, who now obviously knows that we're here. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I think our... Best bet is to just run, run into the building. 
get to a safer spot. And hopefully no one snuck in here already. Why can't I grip that? Let's go. Am I grip messed up? Yeah, it is. I gotta move this a little bit. <laughs> it was like one centimeter off. But, you know, that makes a difference for gun stocks. Alright, so now, I don't think there's anyone in here. But I'm suspicious there could be someone lurking outside. I don't know. I guess we'll, we won't know who that guy was shooting at. Nah, I thought I heard a footstep. I'm just crazy. Um, uh, hmm. Not much here, either. Good on bandages, so we don't need to take that. And... We got an orange. Alright. I've been... I think it was one of the Zero to Hero uh, recordings I was doing. But I just, like, ran up here. I was naked, so, like, I didn't have any armor on. And I just got popped by a Sega slug. I don't know, I have any idea where it came from. It's probably from on these hills, but man, <laughs> I didn't even see the guy. And that has really stuck with me. And now I'm like kind of terrified coming up here. Also killed a lot of people in this office, so that probably doesn't add to my confidence. I know how easy it is to get kills on people in this room. All right, we haven't heard anything else, so I'm thinking that the player we killed on the hill was hopefully just shooting a bot? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't go that way, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Because uh, there's a lot of trees there. That player is still there, and it is a player. They're going to have a little bit of an advantage on us if we go that way. I doubt... Uh, you know, uh, no, I don't know. Oh, that's like... A nice little snack, just sitting right there. Waiting for us. So on one hand, <laughs> this is the thing, you have too much time to think sometimes in Tabor, and then you start second-guessing yourself. Um, you should probably just go with your gut most of the time. My gut's telling me that there's another... Oh, right. Let's take this gum. One-shot choose. I just think the boxes are cool. Um, my gut's telling me they were shooting a player, and that we shouldn't go that way. Because that player could be hiding in the tree after they heard our silent shots and just waiting for us. They could also have rotated, and <laughs> now they're here. But that's my gut. That's what my gut says. So we're going to go with that for now. And hopefully we're right. 12 gauge. I actually don't even know why I'm, like, looting much. Oh my god, that was <laughs> the tour. I thought we just got shot at. But I just can't help myself. I just like, I like looting. I like looting too much in this game. I guess that's why I keep playing it. There's like this like gambling factor where you uh want to open like every every crate and stuff that you come across because you never know when it might have like a purple or card in it or like a GPU, which is super rare. I want to say like I've heard it's like a 1% chance spawn rate of like finding a GPU in a cabinet. But if you play enough and it does happen to you, that like that sticks with you. And now it's like now you always remember it. All right, hopefully I fixed my hat earlier than that. But I don't know, sometimes I forget to fix it. So, I kind of want to make it to radio. But that never that plan never works. <laughs> we always end up getting distracted and running into research. But let's let's maybe try to actually do do it this time. It's been pretty quiet actually. And we're going to pop in this tree, because we need some energy back anyway. I don't really want to run up this hill with little energy. It's just, I don't really want to run up this hill, but I definitely don't want to do it without energy. At least we can run back once we get shot. And I think I'm going to take one... Well, we'll check the roof first. I don't see anyone. I'm going to take another peek over here at prison. Sometimes you get lucky, you know, and you'll see someone running into prison late right now. You know, maybe they had a purple and they spawned far away and you can catch them. And that's exciting. All right, we're going to try to make it to that tree. Now it's not very far, but this is a player. Oh, okay. That was weird. 
Uh, he was lagged out, but yeah. I was like, I definitely see some movement there. Uh, okay. Yeah, there it is too. I was like, I feel like I hear an airdrop. Alright, this is a not a great tree to be in. I mean, we're gonna move. Uh, but it is a great tree to spot the airdrop. So what I don't like about this tree is you kind of, I feel like this tree you stick out. I don't know why, but I've just like noticed people in this tree more than other trees. I don't really want to be in this tree. But it's going to give us a great shot at finding out where this airdrop is going to go. So I think we're going to wait here. It also has like really good vision of research. All right, so we saw a drop. I actually don't know where this is. Mm, that guy had a nice pistol, but we're going to just keep running. Um, I saw the silencer on the pistol, which is like easy 3k or something right there. But let's keep going. So yeah, what is this drop? Is this docks, I think? It looks weird. But we're going to just need to sprint there. Hopefully there's no one behind us since we think kind of cleared out prison. I think most of our new friends are going to be in front of us. Yeah, so this is another drop spawn right here. Oof. Should have not been doing that example right then. Alright. Um, yeah, they'll drop like right here behind those... Um, I don't know, concrete barriers. And that's the spot I was hoping this was falling into. Is this a junkyard one? All right, this is interesting. That's not a gun that bots use. Um, I don't know if I've ever really had this drop. This is an interesting one. All the way out here in the corner. We did hear some shooting at the front of research. So we know someone's close. But I think we're closer. It's like, <laughs> the good thing about this drop is like, why would anyone be here? Um, when Like, I'm not expecting someone to be here before us because this is a weird spot to hide or just to be in in general. I also, this might be the first time I've ever seen an airdrop here because I don't know where to hide. And usually, usually I'm pretty good at knowing where to hide for airdrops because I like to rat them. Um... Uh, Not a great time to run out of energy, huh? Let's try to just get into the tree over here, and then we'll get some energy back, and then we'll move up. Alright, and what we're looking for is those doors. You want to see the whites? <laughs> the whites of the doors, and that's where you want to wait, because the white side is the entrance. Oh, this is like not a bad spot. I think we'll pick this tree. That tree could be pretty good as well. Because you'd get some good vision. Um, and it's always good to be a little more elevated. But I feel like it's an obvious tree. Like when you walk in here, you're going to check these trees and you're going to check that one. And I think this one's a little more a little more out of the way. So this might be a little safer. Still have a pretty good view on the door. Um, oh, here he comes. All right, let's move. I think that guy was kind of kitted because he didn't go down quickly. <laughs> I might have seen another player. I'm not positive. But I thought I saw a player here, but I think it might have just been just the game rendering. Oof, no, this is a great tree too, but the problem is someone could be in that tree and just take some shots here uh, just to check, and that would be not too exciting for us. So yeah, I think we're going to wait a little bit longer, and then we'll go grab this airdrop, hopefully. Alright, so it's been about a minute. We haven't heard anything. Hopefully we're alone. What I'm going to do before we go in, reorgan reorganize my bag a little bit, uh, and we're going to go back down this hill. And do a little, be a little more cautious. So I don't think I actually saw a person. I think it was like a rendering distance kind of thing. I don't know, it still looks weird. That tree just looks weird to me. Um, I 
No, there's definitely someone in that freaking tree, man. Hold on, there's definitely someone in that tree. It wasn't me being crazy. They're just camping and watching this. They're right there. Yeah, okay. So I did see someone in the tree. Oh man, this guy had some chunky armor too. Alright. Nice. I'm not crazy, okay? Uh, but there is something different. Like, I wouldn't have been able to spot that guy before. Something's changed. Maybe it's because I'm playing on virtual desktop now and the game's not as blurry. Um, which is something I didn't even realize was happening until I tried out virtual desktop. But this is like so much cleaner than it used to be. So maybe that's why I could see that guy in the tree. But he was like really sticking out. Uh, Alright. We should be safe now. We got one, two, DC, got just three, four, five kills, right? We're number six. I think we're probably safe. As long as that guy that we just killed didn't have a partner. Or potentially... Okay, that is not something you see often. Tier six rig and a pilot helmet. Um, potentially that was his partner, like we killed him. Ah, oh, nice. Double crypto. I never get anything from these. But I just like getting them. It's that gambling aspect again, I guess. Ooh, thought I heard a footstep. We're good. It was just me. I don't actually need AP ammo. But let's just take it. Don't need that drum mag either. And I think this is the, the Val, right? No, the VSS. They're very similar. Um, What's this? Oh, he dropped something. Oh, can, we, can we get it? <laughs> I don't think we can get it. We're gonna die trying though. It's like glitched out into the floor. All right, well, we'll leave that. So let's take this and take some of this stuff here too. Well, actually, we'll take some more AP powder. That's always nice. Take this one. You know, I found out these greens. <laughs> these green grenades are impact grenades, which I did not know, but I found out the hard way when I threw one recently and just blew up in my face instantly. Not fun. So I don't trust these green green green, green grenades anymore. All right. Um, what's this guy carrying? What is this? Oh, that must be his gun. What gun is this? I don't know. I don't know. Never used it. But let's get rid of one of these so I don't want to lose... Nah, that's not it. This, I have another drum of AP that I didn't want to lose. Oh man, this guy was running a lot of ammo. Um, I don't know what to take. Take this. I'm thinking we should be alone. And we're gonna go hit the orange. So we're gonna rotate up to the uh, tree guy. And hopefully he's like alone alone now. <laughs> like, uh, I'm not sure if, cause they might've been together, those two guys. Cause they kind of came from similar locations. So I'm hoping they don't have a third who is now just waiting for me. I mean, if they had a third, we probably would've seen him by now, right? Let's not do, let's not play completely stupid. We'll leave that vest here. And we're gonna run up this hill with both hands on our weapon as we check some trees. And he's pretty kitted too. I don't know. They might be together. They might not. We're not gonna know. Unless we ask them and they find this video and they tell us. Ooh, that is a cleanly packed bag. Nice. I also think this guy we just got was a lefty. Ah, so we're uh, gonna feel bad about that one for a bit. You know, there's not many of us lefties. We should probably stick together a little bit more. And then we can get cool stuff done, like we can get the uh, hybrid scope patch so that you can turn it to the left instead of just only to the right. Alright, let's see, what are we going to take here? Let's... Let's just eat. I don't feel like taking this whole thermos. I've actually really liked starting to uh, <laughs> depend on food I find in the raids. I don't know, it's like kind of fun. So not crazy, I don't like to take huge risks. So I'm still going to bring in like one can of tangerines. 
and probably come in with most of my food and water already stocked. But then after that, it's fun to like live off of what you find. Um, all right. We make it out of this. This will be a pretty good raid. You know, sometimes that, that first raid was frustrating and easy to get upset about. But then when you get to follow it up with a raid like this, yeah, you quickly kind of forget. Forget that you even had a problem in the first raid. And he's got AP. And hybrid sight. This guy was ready to go. I like his kit. I'm glad that he didn't kill us with it, though. There are so many... Man, that is so annoying when that happens, when the silencer jumps back on the gun <laughs> right after you unscrew it. Um, there are so many more people running silencers this wipe than there used to be. I think it's like a combination of people just having more money. Uh, we can actually get both those armors, but let's not worry about it. Um, people having more money and also just like... Maybe silencers are spawning more in the map than they used to? That's what it feels like, at least. I think we can probably risk this and just take both sets of armor. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, like, conflicted because... That gun's good, too, but we're not gonna get it. He had, like, a nice pistol there on the ground. I couldn't really see it, but I know it's there. It's uh, kitted out. Um, I'm conflicted because, like, I don't need to bring this stuff out. But it just feels better when I do. <laughs> so, like, I can't... I could just... If I was playing smarter, I would just basically get kills and leave all the loot. But I can't do that. I don't know. It's just, like... Alright, just a bot. We're gonna just keep running. The loot's just, like, such a fun part of the game. Even when you don't need it, it's still fun. And then this part where we're, like, trying to escape with a lot of loot. And, like, putting ourselves at a disadvantage makes me feel alive. So I don't think I can stop doing this. Hopefully there's no one around that heard those shots, because that has gotten us killed before. And I'm expecting this to be closed. And so we got the spawned orange card, and it's unlikely someone else found an orange. Unless they're camping this. Okay. Hey. We didn't get shot. Can't actually see, but we didn't get shot, so that's a good sign that no one's here. I guess if I was suspicious that someone was here, I probably wouldn't be running down here with both my hands full and no stamina. Take a little picture. Nice. Easy thumbnail material there. It's going to get me killed one of these days, though. I'll be, like, posing something for a picture late into a raid. <gasps> what? Oh my god, it was... It was the bot. I mean, I knew it had to be a bot. But at the same time, it's really unsettling seeing your blood splatter <laughs> on the door in front of you when you're about to leave by orange. And I don't think bots normally come down here, so... Oof, not cool, man. P90. Okay. That's worth a lot. So we're actually going to trash this. Grab the P90. Get the two armors. And, uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Sweet. Alright, so that definitely makes up for the last raid. Um, and I'm just going to get kitted up again and run the exact same thing. Uh, oh, also, fun fact, so when I was talking about that window, <laughs> window, that tree kill that we got, where I was like, I don't think I normally would be able to see this guy, um, that tree kill was like 105 meters, so that's pretty far um, to be able to see someone in a tree. So I don't know what's changed, maybe it's a PCVR thing, but it does seem like things are a little bit different, and I think it's actually probably a little nicer, because it's uh, the trees used to make you like completely invisible, and now they're a little bit more detectable. Um, cool. All right. Well, let me finish getting kitted. I'll see you guys in a second. Sweet. Let's go. Now we can finally make it to radio, hopefully. Um, oh yeah. So I ran those cryptos before I started this match just to see what we got. And we got a total of like $2,000. So 
those were some i think each crypto had about a thousand on it they were uh, they were not very exciting sorry to disappoint for anyone who was excited about those cryptos like i was all right so i'm like a little cautious doing this run now i don't think many people have caught on yet to it but it's gonna happen or people are gonna realize when they spawn in this beach or of those trees that they should just camp these trees for like 30 seconds and just wait to see uh let's just check this okay sweet um yeah just wait to see who spawns around them so it hasn't happened to me yet but i know it's gonna happen soon because like i've been doing it a lot i'm sure i know other people are doing it and it's just gonna it's gonna catch on <laughs> all right guess we keep going to radio huh I thought I might have heard some light shooting on this side of the island, but I don't know. I might have just hallucinated it as well, or I have the direction completely wrong, too. Double. All right. Definitely have something, but that's really far away. It sounds like side of research. Maybe someone's coming down Container Hill. So we're not going to worry about them for now, but let's just remember they're there. And that might have been the shooting I heard earlier, so that makes it's like it's like really quiet on this side of the island. All right, do you see a bot in the low camp? He's not moving at all, so it's a good sign that no one has been down there. I'm hearing some more research shooting. Sometimes when it's really quiet like this, you might run into like a trio or a duo that's spawned up here. Because, like, you know, three people spawned in, and now they're kind of, like, eating up. Hold on. We can see that bot. He's shooting at someone over here, kind of behind us. I don't think he's shooting at us. Probably this guy. I like it. This feels too mean now. <laughs> I can't, like, I, I, sh I had the chance to kill him right then. The pilot helmet and everything, I just couldn't do it. He's just sprinting across, like, such a dangerous area without a care in the world. Okay, well, in that we can get involved in. Now it's okay. I just couldn't bring myself to shoot him in the back right then. All right, that's not working at all. We're just shooting the ground. See if we get a good angle on him here. I think he's probably dead. That was like 15 rounds of AP ammo. Probably not in that tree anymore. Yeah, I see the back. Okay, so <laughs> I think exactly what we were saying just happened. We held we saw that actually it was kind of good too. We left that naked alive. Um because I'm pretty sure he just ran into this duo. Like I was saying how when it was so quiet, we probably had a duo spawn here. And we did. Um, and they killed our little guy. That's where they killed him, right there. Poor dude. Alright, let's see. We'll take this. this. These are probably... <laughs> it's so funny. There's like crazy amounts of shooting going on here, and I'm just like... Da, da 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 Let's just see what we want. I'm just like trying to be calm about it. This is a nice pistol. Pretty sure. I don't know. I never used them, but I think they're expensive. Um, that shooting was like pretty close. Yeah, here's the corpse of our naked. <laughs> I feel a little... Well, no, I don't feel bad. We didn't kill him, and we got revenge for him. But like we did kind of just use him as... Bait, unintentionally, but we did just use him as bait. Alright, what was that guy running from? I'm wondering if he found something good at in uh, in research and he's trying to make his way to uh, prison now. I don't know if he saw us originally. 
uh because i'm surprised that he went up that ladder but yeah maybe he didn't see us and then he heard the shots panicked and then didn't know where they're coming from because or maybe he didn't know that we'd have such a good angle on that ladder probably um he probably wasn't carrying anything now if he was able to climb up a ladder if that was even the same guy it had to be the same guy right Heard some footsteps. They were really faint. I actually started to think that it was a bot. Oh man, he did. We were well. Okay, so we were sort of right. <laughs> Dropped a purple. That's awesome. Um, that guy that we originally killed, he didn't have it. Like we said, I was like, oh, maybe that guy was sneaking out of research with something good. He wasn't. But the second guy was. Well, that's pretty sweet. I don't even remember how many kills are we at. How many kills are we at? One, two. We saw a guy get killed. It's three. I think and we have two kills here. Four and five. We're number six. So still a, still a good amount of people could be in this lobby, but most likely it's thinning, it's thinning out a bit. And I think we're going to run this purple. Um, yeah, I might as well. So I do kind of want to save these because I want to make a video. One of the uh, suggested videos um, that I'm, I want to make is a purple run. So like no loot, go into a purple, see what you get and make the most of it. Um, and to do that, I need a couple purples. <laughs> so I have a couple right now. I really should save this one, but, you know, I haven't played in a week. I'm excited to run this. Let's go do it. Also, a lot of you have kindly uh, offered to donate purples for a good cause <laughs> to uh, my Cool Whip charity, so I'm not too concerned if I don't have purples for the video. I'm sure sure a lot of you guys have spare purples you wouldn't mind lending me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go this way. I think this is a safer approach to prison because you get this high ground advantage. You don't have to run through the hills, which I hate running through the hills. Ooh, I really thought there was going to be some damage there. There are still a lot of trees here. And that's always kind of scary. I actually had a game a while back, but I still think about it. It was super late into the raid. Uh, I was running with a couple buddies, so we were in a trio, so I was already just feeling extra confident. And, you know, I was kitted out and stuff. Um, I don't know how late it was into the raid, but the timer was definitely in, like, the yellow zone, so it's, it was pretty far. Uh, we had started on like radio or whatever, cleared out radio, went through research, you know, we were playing pretty slow. And then we had a purple, so we're like, alright, let's go run it. And um, I walked down that hill, completely oblivious, and there was a guy in those trees, like by the big rocks. And he just took me out with FMJ ammo, <laughs> and I was, uh, I was so embarrassed in that moment. And that's also why I don't like going there, because it was uh, traumatizing for me. Alright, so just a bot, um, but like I said before, if you hear shots at prison like that late, not a bad idea to uh, rush over here, or potentially go to border, um, depending on how far away you are. We gotta get our energy back. Uh, we don't have, a oh we do have energy, what am I, I'm blind, I'm like looking at it, it's right there. But basically, you hear shots late at prison, there's a decent chance that it's either, <laughs> there's probably two things. It's either going to be like a naked and he is just looting prison quietly and safely at the end of the raid uh, to get some stuff. So in that sense, you're not going to find anything good. But the other option that I've seen is it's going to be someone running purple and they attracted a guard and the guard, you know, alerted the map. But it's not a bad idea to like rush over here if you hear late prison shots. Um, and then why I said you could just go camp border is most people that are coming to a late uh, purple raid are gonna have border as an exfil, so that's probably gonna be where they go. I guess they could potentially also get an orange in the vault, uh, and you know, go try to run orange as well. But there's definitely trees you can position in to, uh, for the most part, be able to see. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I gotta take a little breath here. I was not expecting that at all. This is actually almost the exact spot that I got killed in, my, I think, my first community event. We were playing, we run in here, and this guy was on the steps and got me. 
um because i was too cocky but yeah <laughs> there we go Ooh, that was scary um I, for I forgot what i was gonna say oh yeah but there are trees that you can position in and you'll be able to see like uh you know border as well as probably have a good set of eyes on if they try to run up the hill and go to orange wow you shut this door too this guy's sneaky i wonder if it's the same guy but someone's definitely looted this and shut all the doors yeah even the shut the crates almost we're not gonna bother with those i just wanted to make sure mp5 that's a player kill right there bots i've never thoughts don't carry mp5s i don't think all right yes i was thinking this might happen um that's awesome so i was sometimes i've seen this before people will like find a gpu here and hide which is not a bad plan i don't know when he got here but it's a better plan to hide somewhere where people aren't going to find you. Then you don't have to fight anyone over the GPU, like just happened. But, I mean, maybe he was playing big, because if he got a kill on us, which, he, you know, he came kind of close. Um, yeah, he would have he would have been making bank on this raid. So it's just a risky bet. Sometimes it pays off. Oh, there's our blood on the wall, too. All right, let's see what we get. Man, those vests are crap. Not great. It's okay. Crap. <laughs> okay, maybe he wouldn't have made bank on this vault because uh, it's not that great. Got some silencers. All right, it got a little better as we went. Honestly, the GPU is the uh, <laughs> best thing we got out of this vault, and it didn't even come from the vault. So, um, take these. These are actually. I just like collecting them, as you know, and they're pretty valuable. I think they like come in at like a thousand. So they're definitely worth picking them up. The uh, big circle, scrap circles. Uh, I, all right, we can fit this. No, but we're not going to. I'm being silly. I'm being silly. We don't need any of this stuff. <laughs> this is such a pain to fit in though, so I think we're gonna leave those. Um, then I guess we'll just grab one of these guns. Yeah, let's get out of here. I doubt there's anyone left on this raid, but if they are still here and they come here, and, yeah, they'll get a decent vault. In terms of scraps, I mean, it'll be a decent scrap vault. Not a good vault, but if you're getting scraps, that wasn't a bad one for scraps. Oh, looks like we got a player kill here, too. It's a nice pistol. So... I think the lobby's dead, because we killed a guy in prison, and it looks like there's at least two other player deaths uh, on prison. And it's been like 10 minutes since I last counted, so I don't actually remember the count anymore. But I think everyone's dead. <laughs> dead or gone. Dead or exfilled, I guess is a better way of saying it. Alright. You know, I thought I, would, I thought I could do this. I thought it'd be cool. Didn't work. I wanted to jump up on these rocks, and then... Surprise that guy that was hiding here that one time that I can't stop thinking about. <laughs> I feel like I talk about that one interaction like every time I run this. Because uh, that guy, guy really freaked me out. I'm not checking these trees at all. Hopefully I don't pay for that soon. There we go. I'm not even checking the hills. I'm not checking anything right now. <laughs> but if my simple math is correct, we should be pretty much alone. So that's why I'm being so nonchalant about it. But man, that guy, oof, that guy in the purple vault really, uh, <laughs> really made me nervous. Because he did. Oh, man, we always run out of stamina right here. But yeah, he definitely could have messed us up pretty good there. Okay, that was me breathing, but it sounded like another person breathing right behind me. Which doesn't make any sense. Yeah, if that guy had killed us at the uh, at the vault, that would have... Uh, <laughs> that would have been pretty sad. You know, my normal sad self. I would have been, I would have been sad about it. Alright, let's see. That should be enough stamina. Let's go. Because we want to get another raid in. 
always checking these tr these trees I'm checking now that uh, I'm closer to Xville and closer to someone being able to shoot me from like 10 meters away. But now nah, I think we're all good. All right, so that was a good raid. I think we got a little time, so let's try to do one more. Uh, I already dumped all this stuff on the floor, and then I started singing Mamma Mia, so I'm going to cut that part out, hopefully, and not put that in the video, and just cut to here, saying, I'll see you guys in the next raid. <laughs> all right, this is such a fun spawn. I think, I, I think this might be my favorite spawn, is when you get this, like, top of the hill radio spawn. I think technically someone could have spawned... Like right here, but it's pretty unlikely. They can you can spawn like right behind this building. Um, I think we would have seen them because we usually spawn in pretty early as well. Um, all right, no GPU there. I haven't seen a GPU there in a long time actually. But yeah, I just love this spawn. Uh oh, <laughs> knocked something off my desk. Um, I think it's not important. Let's keep going. And I love this spawn because there's an easy defense position, you know? That's, that's a good box. Um, Cause like, there's only like, you know, one or two entrances here. You can just chill up here on this ladder and no one can really get to you. You'll probably get some free kills. It's number two, well not free, but you'll get some easy kills because people just come charging into this building all the time. And the other thing I like, all right, so we're checking these hills because I've seen people running up these hills to get a spot on us. Um, the other thing I like is that, did I already say this one, but there's three static spawns. So you can find two GPUs and a purple. I don't know if you'll find those all at once, but if you find them all at once, that's a super lucky raid. Probably used up all your luck for, for the wipe in that one raid. All right. Oh, at least we got some shots finally. It's very quiet. I think we're gonna head to research. I see someone actually. I just saw someone over these hills. I, I couldn't tell if it was more than one person though. And I see running down there, but I think that's a bot running down in the camps. All right, I don't know if he was alone though. <laughs> um, all right, let's keep going. Did he get us? No, still got our health. That's good. I don't really like this spot at all. It's so exposed. Just saw someone in research actually. All right, I don't think he was gonna get us too much. <laughs> I don't think he had a very good chance against us with that gun. I don't even know what that is. Like, it's not a looty, but it's looty's like cousin or something. I don't know what it's called. The movement down there, but that's still the bot. Uh, and the player I saw in research was running into. Oh no! Whoa, they didn't hit us at all. I was lucky. I totally thought we were dead there. Uh, there's a duo on the roof. I don't know if this guy we saw earlier. Alright, we gotta move. Um... Not the guy we saw earlier. I just saw the earlier guy running through research again. Um, and his hand was dragging behind him, which I don't think means anything anymore. But for a long time, seeing someone's hand drag behind them like that meant they were carrying something good. I think he got us that time. Mm -hmm, not really. All right, let's go. I think that might be our research guy that we saw on the lower floors. Might have just made it upstairs. And was uh, <laughs> giving us a break there. 
Because that guy was unloading on us, but like he didn't do much damage. So that was exciting. He was shooting a bunch of silent shots at us, but they just weren't connecting. So I think I'm just going to head up to the roof. Uh, we got to wait for our stamina, though. be really nice if he just came down the stairs right now while we were recovering our stamina. <laughs> but don't think he's going to. Probably should have killed that bot so that I wouldn't be distracted by these footsteps. But I also didn't want to make a shot. He's got to still be up there too, I think. I think he's probably up here waiting. Just like keeping an eye on the hills. That's, that's a bot as well. Yeah, so let's see if we get lucky here. There's two of them. We just pop around this corner. <laughs> Dude, there was some carnage up here. Uh, if you crouch down low like that, or if you're sitting, just crouch or whatever, you can see their legs underneath the tarps. And you could technically kill them through the tarps, but it's it's easier just to uh, not shoot through the tarps if you can, if you can avoid it. Ah. Uh. All right, well, that was exciting. I'm glad that worked out. Let's see what we get. Pretty normal stuff. This We saw this guy shooting us earlier. I think this must have been a trio then. Because we definitely killed a guy there. And we got two kills here, so I think we just took out... Took out the trio that was terrorizing Island. <laughs> um, which is always fun. We're going to leave this M4. Just take the uh, silencers. I love, I love taking on like trios and stuff and duos in this game, um, especially when we win, and especially when, you know, we could have easily lost because they're running AP with. <laughs> you gotta like the art, the artwork of some people sometimes. Um, but yeah, so they're running AP. They definitely could have killed us. So it's fun putting our. Yeah, AP. Uh, fun putting our life on the line for you guys. <laughs> uh, let's see, so we got one, two, three, four. Killed a guy up there. Five, right? I think they killed a guy. Six? I don't know. I guess most of the people are dead. I'm trying to do math, but it's not working today. You know, that happens. And I think most people are dead. So, wondering if this was even... Nah, like, where's the other backpack? And because like this is a pretty nice kit. This guy had a backpack somewhere, right? Maybe not. Did we eat this one already? Yeah. I don't know. I guess we'll just go. Um, what do we got in here? More AP. Nice. And we lost one. Oh well. Always good to have a little more AP. AP ammo. So I don't really want to carry this vest all the way out of research. Let's hope that doesn't clip. Hey! Nice. It didn't clip through the floor. We're going to forget about it and not bring it with us, but uh... For now, that was a good play. Uh, actually, I gotta check too. I don't know where our exfils are. What? They're not open. What just shot me? <laughs> oh. 
It's a duo on the hill. Dude, I thought this lobby was dead. <laughs> Can't see anything right now because I put the stupid compass on when they started shooting at me. All right, we got the one guy. I don't know if we got the second one. I think he's behind the rock. Hmm, those guys must have like spawned in kind of late. Hmm, so a bit of a... Ooh, well that's exciting too. Uh, I could check my missions just to see, you know, see if we got the kill. But there's no point in checking them because I don't remember them. Let's see, maybe we can do our simple counting real quick. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's five. Which doesn't help us because <laughs> I don't remember what because the uh, the kill streaks or whatever they stop at five. The only ones that I remembered I had just reset. They stop at five, so I don't actually know if I got the sixth kill or not. And eh, we'll find out soon enough. All right, exos are opened. We have docks. And we're gonna turn this compass off. So that was incredibly annoying to watch and stare at. So either we got him, or he is probably long gone by now. Like he ran down the hill, and he's headed up here to come kill us basically, is what I think would be the next outcome. Just have one tick left on that original mag, so we're gonna switch it to the next drum. See if we spot anybody here. Yeah, there he is. Alright, that was a pretty nice shot. <laughs> I mean, I know we're using this OP AK Alpha gun, but that was still some nice shooting there. I was actually thinking of not shooting because I didn't want him to uh, turn around and get behind the rocks. But I'm pretty sure he... I think he did a good job, and I think he did spot us. So, I had to take the shot. Because it looked like he reacted to seeing us on the roof by backing up a bit. I got some footsteps. So this might be a guy trying to sneak up on us. So we're gonna wait here a second and see if that pans out. So it sounds a lot like a bot. It's very like repetitive. I give it a little bit longer. I think it's a bot. Alright, we'll shut that a little bit. Not that that keeps us safe, but maybe it will help. I feel like we got the guy. I feel like we got him. So I haven't seen any indication of him since. But we should be careful. He could be in this building already, just waiting for us. Yeah, creeping around. Alright, definitely the bot that we heard, though. The one that gets stuck in this room. And I think we need to make it to Junkyard. Right, I'm dizzy. So I had to pause there. I was dizzy. Alright. Now if we hear footsteps though, now we gotta be scared. <laughs> um, Alright, we got nothing that we really need there. Not good, not bad stuff, but just not something we're interested in. Alright, fine, I can't help myself. We're taking another peek. I think we got them both. I think they got them both, or they're just, they're so long gone, it doesn't matter anymore. We won't know where they're going anyway. Unless he's already in the building with us. Huh. That's a scary thought, thought for you. It'd be really funny if like while we're drinking water we just see him like zip across. But we won't have time to get our gun up or anything. We just have to let him go. Let him go for now though. We'll probably try to get him later. Right, we're actually doing pretty good on food and water. Better than I thought we would be. Alright, well let's go. 
So we have that vest we want to grab. And we need to go check out um, the junkyard kill. So that's what I'm going to do now. Hmm, that's like not a very fun approach, is it? <laughs> I'm looking at this vast expanse of death and trees. Oh well. Alright, that one's a bot. I feel like we should check for a GPU too in the garage. But I'm impatient. And I kind of hope that the guy we killed creeping around junkyard had some good stuff. Because that's the route I would take if I had good stuff. I would be coming that path. Alright, well, I didn't really want to kill that guy, but... We had to. He was... What's that sound? No, I'm just making up sounds, but yeah. I never like to kill the guards if I don't have to. Actually, we could have just kept running. <laughs> but that, that guard was going to be a bit of a problem later on, too, since we're going to come back this path. And, like, honestly, I think this raid's got to be pretty empty. We saw most people... We saw most of the death with our own two eyes. So. Hopefully we are alone. All right. Man, that was a nice shot, but good job on him too for spotting us, because there's a lot of places to be looking. That was a that was a good job that he actually saw us up there. I don't even think we were really moving. This guy has good eyes. Hopefully he was protecting something good with it. Yeah, not that. Not bad, you know? <laughs> um, this radio is worth a decent chunk, and it's a cool item to find. Do kind of feel bad for killing this guy now. My, uh, my guilt is building up. <laughs> that always seems to happen every now and then. I'll, I'll, like, get guilty about, and, like, we let that one guy go earlier, but he died anyway, but we did let him go, so that counts as a good action by us. Um, and, yeah, and then my guilt builds up, and then I'm gonna do something stupid, like I'm gonna trust a duo. I'm gonna give away all my kit to some random I find. <laughs> um... Yeah, we'll see. It's probably going to happen soon, because unless, who knows, maybe I'll come back for my next video with a vengeance and just be back in my villain era. I don't know. But right now, I'm feeling, I haven't played in a week. I'm feeling guilty for some of these kills. That poor guy was just trying to get one radio out, and we just killed him, thinking that he probably had a GPU. You know, what does that say about us? Ah, I think what it says is we really like taking good shots. <laughs> I couldn't resist taking that shot. It was just too... Too juicy of a shot to try to pull off. Alright, I think we're all good. We're gonna just grab our vest, which hopefully has not mysteriously disappeared by now. It'd be right there. That's good. And let's get out of here. I should probably have another hand on my gun. I would normally go up that hill and check, because um, I'm pretty sure that other guy's dead. I, I think they're both dead, and so normally I would go up and try to confirm that they're both dead, uh, and also just check what stuff they had. I should probably hold my gun at least with the one hand. Um, but I'm not too interested in their stuff, because I don't think they seemed super kitted. And I already checked radio, so... Most of the good stuff that they would probably find, I would have already found. Um, they might have found something in a good random spawn, like a silencer or something, but I don't think it's worth the time right now to go up and check. Alright. Do another little chug. Head out to docks, and then that will be it for this video. Unless I die right here, and then I'm mad and I have to play another one because I don't like ending on a loss. <laughs> I know I can't be the only person that does that. That's like me for most video games. I hate ending on a loss. What? That's definitely a bot, right? Yeah, okay. I don't know. So, <laughs> the way, all right, that one shot me. But the way that bot was coming out of the tunnel, I really thought it was like a player. Oof, that took a chunk out of us. Quarter health, gone. With a pistol. 
Man, even with armor, these bots are pretty deadly. Let's go up. Let's clear it out. Okay. And maybe we'll get lucky and find like a flight recorder. <laughs> I like always am checking for it when I come up here. I haven't found one in a very long time. Mm. Oh. Wait, was this what he... No, wait. That was in our pocket. I was like, dude, did the guard shoot us with a deagle? Nah. That was... That was us. We just grabbed it out of our own pocket. Ah, uh, alright. So no flight recorder. Probably... Wow. Didn't actually think we were going to be able to fit that in our bag. It's a Tabor miracle. Gonna do one final scan of all these windows. Let's see what our stamina is. It's almost gone. Yeah, let's go for it. I feel like it was like one video ago where I was like, I don't want to run out on docks without energy. And it took me one video to break that rule. <laughs> and I was like, I made a whole point about how it was like a big rule for me, but no, it's not. Sweet. All right, well, that's going to be it for today, but that was a pretty good raid to end on. Um, and we did get the second guy, just so you know. I probably will put it in the KDR right now. <laughs> but we did get him, and actually, he died to bleed damage. So we must have shot him, and he hid behind that rock and then just slowly faded away. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I will see you all in the next one.